Precision 5000 series has always been Dell's thin and light workstation. The new model, the 5550, is smaller and more compact than the previous generation. It has the same stylish design as the 5540. In a new twist, the Dell team added a 17-inch model to the 5000 series. This is the 5750. The similarities between these two workstations are striking. Both of them have support for 64 gigabytes of memory, 4 terabytes of SSD storage. They can both be configured with the same 8-core i9 processor. And both of them have a 3840 by 2400 16 to 10 ratio display. Both systems use Thunderbolt ports exclusively for connectivity. Thunderbolt helps to reduce the size of the workstation, but many of us don't have 100% Thunderbolt compatibility. Dell doesn't leave customers out in the cold. Both systems ship with a dandy Thunderbolt 2 USB and HDMI connector. The Precision 5550 may be the smallest thin and light workstation on the market. The Precision 5750 is not much larger. It's about 1.5 millimeters thicker, and it weighs in just 290 grams more than the 5550. If you didn't see it sitting next to the 5550, you could be forgiven for thinking this was a 15-inch workstation. The main difference between the two systems is the graphics options. The 15-inch workstation can be configured either with a Quadro T1000 or a Quadro T2000. The 17-inch model can be configured either with a Quadro T2000 or a Quadro RTX 3000. Comparing these configuration differences makes it easy to focus on the issues that most impact your decision. It comes down to the workstation size, the display size, and graphics performance. And the performance does not disappoint. The 15-inch workstation that I tested has a Core i7 and a Quadro T2000. And the 17-inch version has a Core i9 and a Quadro RTX 3000. Despite the differences in the CPU, the greatest performance differences between these two systems comes from the GPUs. In application performance using Premiere Pro, the Precision 5550 is no slouch. But of course, the Precision 5750 with the Quadro RTX 3000 beats it across the board. The workstations were tested with Octane 2020, which is a pure GPU rendering test. In this test, the CPU is not taxed at all, but the GPU is driven at 100% workload. I chose to run the test with the RTX features enabled. So it's not a surprise that the Precision 5750 beat the 5550 by anywhere from 77% to 230%. Another important workstation benchmark is ViewPerf 2020, and in these tests, the Precision 5750 delivers 50% to 150% better results. Testing was set up to run for over two and a half hours without any pause, and the test results remained consistent throughout. The systems did not show any throttling, and that is a testament to Dell's thermal design. So with these two stylish, compact, thin and light workstations, how do you make your choice? Well, let's focus on workstation size, display size, and graphics performance. If one of those is critical to your work, then your choice is simple. Let's take size. The Precision 5550 is smaller, which is great for portability and working in tight places. So even though both systems are quite compact, the 5550 does have an advantage on size. On the other hand, the 17-inch model is not going to disappoint you. What about display size? There's a clear difference in display size. And for graphics professionals, it's not hard to imagine a preference for a bit more display space. Both of these systems support the same 16 to 10 display resolution. Finally, graphics performance might be the most influential factor in your choice. If that's the case, the Precision 5750 is quite attractive. You can put these three factors together, put a weight on each one, and see how things fall out for you. In any case, adding the Precision 5750 to the 5000 series gives users new options in the thin and light workstation space. And if we're honest about it, choosing between the Precision 5550 and 5750 is a great problem to have.